All right, this is Srini, the host and co-founder of Blogcast FM, and I am here at Blog World in the Rackspace booth with Robert Scoble. How's it going, Robert? Hey, really well. I just got a, a keynote this morning. It was a lot of fun. Cool. Well, Robert, I mean, you've been around the blogosphere forever. As far as the blogosphere is concerned, you're really a veteran of this space, and I'm curious, in the time that you've seen this and since you started, I mean, what do you think has changed in terms of how we grow audiences and, and you know, how do you stand out among all this noise now? <laughs> That's a, those are two separate questions. Um, the, the world has definitely gotten more social. I mean, I, you know, eight years, I've been blogging since uh, 2000, right? So uh, back then there was only 200 blogs. <laughs> I didn't even think it was important enough to do a session at my conferences. Now there's an entire expo hall about it, right? Um, so that that's certainly changed. The There was no Twitter, there was no YouTube, there was no Facebook, there was no uh, Google Plus. Google Plus just came out last year, right? So and that, and that's where the audiences really are starting to uh, take off. You know, uh, Facebook with 900 million people is just crazy. And in just eight, the last eight months, uh, I've gotten 320,000 new followers on Facebook. That's just crazy. So a huge audience upswell there. Um, so that's one thing I, uh, that I'm really keyed in on is the new, the new social networks: Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus. I'm spending a lot of time there. I'm actually doing less uh, blogging on my blog on my old school blog, and I'm actually looking at using a few things to change, to bring the work I'm doing on Facebook and Google Plus and Twitter back onto my my uh, site, my my domain, right? So that's one change. Um, you asked me about how to get found above the noise. That's a tough one. Um, Certainly use all the tools you have, video, audio, photos, and good writing, good content. If The more exclusive, the more interesting the content, the more it'll get passed around, right? If you have a, an, an exclusive interview with Tim Cook at Apple, you're gonna get a million views or two million views just because you have the only one, right? And it's gonna get pushed around. And you see that effect. Red Bull is doing really interesting content or uh, Baratunde is doing it interesting. He's a comedian, or Zay Frank. They're they're getting above the noise because their content is so interesting and compelling. And how do you do that? If I knew, <laughs> I'd be doing it. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I was just having a conversation with Mike Stelzner about this, and I think one of the things that a lot of people do is they look at people like you, they look at people like Mike Stelzner, they look at a lot of people that you mentioned, and they try to copy exactly what they do. And they don't realize that uh, the key to this really is adaptation, adapting it to what you uniquely bring to the skip to the table, things that only you could do and nobody else could do. And I'd be curious to hear your uh, your th opinion on that. Absolutely true. I mean, if you're not Gary Vaynerchuk or Zay Frank and you don't have this big personality, you have to find a niche or something that people aren't covering that you know intimately and um, and cover the hell out of that and do do interesting content. Now, interesting content can be uh, audio on like SoundCloud can be uh, you know ph photography like this guy's taking a picture of me with his iPad right uh, it can be what you're doing with a little video camera it can be good writing you know on a blog post it, it, the more you do all of that and package it together and then figure out how to get distribution in Facebook or on Google Plus figure out how those networks work Facebook for instance just because you put a Facebook message doesn't mean anybody gets that message. You don't even realize that. It's called edge rank, right? So a lot of the conversations I'm having here on the show floor is about edge rank. How does that work? How do you get how do you get your message to that guy's Facebook page? That's really uh, a whole uh, genre of study that you need to to do and to understand how to get your media distributed. So one final question for you, and I think you're in a very interesting position in that you work with Rackspace, you're basically representing a brand, and I think that as bloggers become bigger and bigger, there's this sort of challenge of balancing your own footprint, and if you're working at a company, balancing that with how much of the work you do for them and how much of it is your own brand being promoted, and it's something that I've seen, I've run into personally when I've interviewed with companies, uh, and I'm curious. How does that work for you, somebody like you, and, and how do you suggest people balance that? Because on the one hand, you want to grow a social media presence, especially if you're looking for a social media job, but what happens when that starts to seem like it's going to overshadow the job? Well, it, business is personal, right? People like to do business not with a brand. I, what, who's Rackspace or Apple or Nike, right? But do business with people. We want to know who works there, and that's, and that, that's fed by Facebook, right? On Facebook, 
you know, I can see who works there. I know Mark Benioff runs Salesforce, and he's a friend of mine on, on Facebook, and I can subscribe to him, right? That's a change in our society um, and a, a change in expectation. So cool brands use, use the people to uh, get the business done, right? <laughs> and and um, brands that resist that are, I think, um, are cool. Uh, Apple resists that, right? Apple doesn't want you to use your name and, and, and uh, 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 associated with the brand. They've made that choice. So you have to decide who you're working for. Do you work for a company like Rackspace where you can be a, a personality out on Facebook or Twitter or Google Plus or on your blog or on YouTube or whatever? Um, or do you work at an Apple where, hey, no, you know, Apple and your thing is separate and you better not mix them. Well, Robert, thanks so much for taking the time to join us. Appreciate your time. Thank you so much.